Hey everybody, welcome back to Grain Free Homestead. I'm Stephanie, and today's video is not gonna be what it was supposed to be. So I was making a video on how to make super easy, simple caramel. Um, you literally put it in the crock pot, and the crock pot is the water bath. It cans it for you, it makes the caramel in the process, all that, all at one time. And I don't know how, but I messed it up. So I'm gonna show you all what it turned out like and what not to do to get that easy caramel sauce. Can y'all see that? Every single jar turned out this way. So, two things we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what not to do and I'm gonna show you what to do to make easy caramel sauce. And by the end of this video, we're gonna have some awesome caramel sauce. All right, so let's go over the two things that I messed up on the caramel. First thing was, is on my crock pot, um, you put it on low for six to eight hours. And what I did is I turned it on high thinking for about 30 to 40 minutes, thinking I was getting the temperature up and I was kind of giving it a head start. Don't do that. Just keep it on low. I thought I was helping the process along to get thick caramel. No, it, it got really thick, <laughs> too thick. So just set it on low and just trust the process on that. Um, the second thing that I messed up was I put our homemade vanilla right here. I, I, that's the only ingredient that I'm adding to the caramel is the homemade vanilla. So I put a half a teaspoon in the quarter pints and I put a whole teaspoon in the half pints. And hindsight is 2020 on that. I realize now that is way too much. I was just thinking the vanilla is wonderful. It can only make it better. Um, and that is so not the case. This is, this is our homemade vanilla extract. So it does have alcohol. Um, it's pure alcohol other than the vanilla. And that's why I believe that it affected the texture as well um, of the caramel. So I was trying to be lazy and just pour the sweetened condensed milk straight into the jars and add the vanilla and stir it up and get them in the crock pot. That was what I was trying to do. Um, I'm not going to do this the, this next time what I'm getting ready to do. We're gonna mix it all up together and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So it doesn't sound like that it's a lot, but I'm adjusting the time that I'm leaving it in there. Um, I'm not turning it up on high for the first half hour, 45 minutes. And I'm also um, adjusting the amount of vanilla that's going in it. So that's actually three things that I'm adjusting for this batch. So here I'm just emptying the cans of sweetened condensed milk. Um, super simple, just empty however many you wanna make into your larger bowl. So next I'm gonna add our vanilla. This time I'm only gonna do two teaspoons for the whole batch. And I did use six cans of sweetened condensed milk. So I used six cans. You could do whatever size batch you want. Um, this is the 14 ounce cans. Um, because that's what will fit in my crock pot. This is one of the, uh, this is my larger crock pot, so it's a, I believe it's a seven or eight quart crock pot. Now we're just gonna fill our jars. I left a half inch headspace for each jar. I will say this does get messy. Make sure you have a spoon or even a wash rag available. It does get drippy. Be sure to clean the rims of your jars with vinegar. It is really sticky and you don't want to compromise that seal. After you're finished with this, you'll just 
um, lid and band your jars as usual. Make sure they're good and clean and get them on finger tight. Once we get all of the jars lidded, we will then load our crock pot. Um, my crock pot held seven jars. And once I get all of them loaded, it's super simple. All you do is just fill the crock pot with water and you add just enough water to cover the top um, of your biggest jar. So all the jars should have water on top of them. Make sure that your crock pot is on low and only low. Put your lid on and you're ready to go six to eight hours. And here you can see the caramel's nice and dark. It has a beautiful color right out of the crock pot. And also all the jars sealed within just a couple minutes of getting them out. Okay, so the caramel's out. It has cooled off um, and it's ready for us to try and see what it looks like. We're gonna open one of these here. So let me get my can opener. Smells wonderful. You can see that, but that is just like the thick caramel, like what you get like in the grocery store in those tubs up by the um, apples and stuff. That's exactly what this is. We've um, actually already cheated and tried a jar so I have some apples here to cut up and we're going to put some on a plate and I will tell you this, um, I have one jar that was like that far from being full. So that's the jar that we used first and it was gone like that. Everybody in the house liked it. The kids, me, uh, Derek, we all like it. Um, we have tried, just kind of experimented. We took, we, you can thin it down, like put it in the microwave for like 10 or 15 seconds, and it does make it runnier, um, like looser. So if you wanted to pour it on ice cream, um, I made an apple crisp for Thanksgiving, and I did put, um, you know, I had my cooked apples with all the spices and everything and butter, but then I, I drizzled caramel all across the top before I put the rest of the dump cake you know, for the apple crisp on top. So there are several things you could use this caramel for, um, not just like apples and caramel. You could use it, um, like I said, in an apple crisp. Um, we're gonna try it um, and a couple other things to see if it works, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, anything that you would use any other caramel for, um, I think this would be great. Um, and so then it's also good, um, that's why I made these smaller jars here too. It's perfect for gift baskets. I am Definitely pleased with how this turned out um, the second time. So slowing the heat process down seemed to really help um, not going over my time. So right at seven, seven and a half hours um, seems to be where we like it. If you want it to be thinner, check your caramel around the six, six and a half hour mark. Um, yeah, so here you go guys. You should give it a try. Um, it tastes wonderful. Um, I do think that we really like the addition of, of the vanilla in here and um, give it a try. Maybe for Christmas this year, maybe for some recipes or some gift baskets. It would be a great idea. So that's our video for today. I hope you guys um, learned something along with myself and uh, give us a like or subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys um, like this caramel. Maybe put it in the comments if you've tried it before or made it, um, or if you haven't and you do make it, let us know because we were impressed with this. Um, it was something that was so easy and simple to do, except for my, you know, my first faux pas. But um, other than that, I mean, I will definitely be making it again. Um, it only holds seven jars in my crock pot, so that's not going to last too long by the time we give some away um, and the kids you know, get into it. So anyways, you guys have a great week and we'll see you on the next one.